And welcome back to the show. Tom Shields had a goal of breaking the national high school record in the 200 free, and he did it in a big way two weeks ago with a 133.83, taking almost two seconds off the record. And last weekend, Shields went to Vancouver with the national junior team and won the 200 free at the Mel Zajac International Meet as well. And joining us on the phone right now from Edison High School in Huntington Beach, California, is Tom Shields. Tom, thanks for joining us on the Morning Swim Show. Uh, no problem. I'm glad to be here. So what class did we pull you out of today? Um, English. English. All right. That seems to be the answer every time we have high school students on. Something about the English class getting out of. Anyway, moving on. Congrats on the new record. Uh, were you surprised by the time? I mean, it crushed the record. Yeah, to be honest, uh, I was way surprised. I was looking for like 134 mid, especially in prelims. Like, I was super pumped coming into it because I just did not want to have to have that kind of pressure that I didn't have it yet on Friday. But I, I had no clue that I, I could go 133. Coach Rios thought I could. He's uh, my coach at Michigan Yard Editors, but I had no clue. Real quick, tell us how you split it, the first 100 and then the second 100. I went, uh, f oh, man, I went out 48, no, I'm out 45.5 and came back 48, whatever that tends to, like 7 or something. Nice. Uh, you know that time would have actually placed seventh at the NCAAs. That's pretty impressive for a high schooler. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, night swim. I, uh, I don't know about the morning swim there because I am still a five star. But I know I'm trying to trying to break my way into that. We're showing some video right now of the final of the 200 free at NCAA. Something that you may very well be in next year. Um, how would you describe your stroke, or what do people tell you that you look like when you're swimming? Um, the guys at Flow mentioned that I look like Laveau, but I haven't seen enough of him swimming to talk about that. Um, I don't know, when I'm swimming, I try to think of kind of how Lee Zach does his stuff, and I know that I do look nothing like that, but that's what I uh, aspire to be like, I guess. Okay, so kind of a long, loping stroke? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you won the, um, last weekend you traveled to Canada, swam the 200 free long course at the Mel Zajac International Meet. Uh, 151, another great time. What, um, what do you like? Or do you like long course or short course better? I love short course because I can kick underwater a lot, and that's where my uh, swimming started. But this year I'm actually very excited to try and catch up to myself long course. Um, that 151 was, I don't know, I was kind of disappointed with it. I was out a lot, uh, way slower than I wanted to be. But I'm looking forward to this season. I think we can have a really good one. So you like to kick underwater, but you're a 200 guy. How far, how much can you really use that when you're swimming at 200? Well, um, short course, uh, I think I can use it pretty well. Uh, the whole first 100, I try and stay close to 13 or 14 and then back off and wait for that last turn if I'm in a race. And I haven't really developed the whole back half philosophy yet, but we're going to work on that next year. So you think it's okay for you and your endurance, you'll still stay underwater for a long time, even when you get to that 150, 175 mark? I'm hoping by next year, yeah. I mean, I figure that's the fastest way I can swim. So if I, as long as I can just keep it you know, up in the radar, I think, it, I think it could work. And next year you'll be Cal Bear. Why did you, uh, why'd you end up choosing Cal? Um, I mean, Duren's 31 or 32 now, and has been a part of some amazing uh, programs before and is just such an innovative coach. And with Meehan and Folker behind him, it's just an awesome program. And the, the group of guys that he has there is amazing. And um, just coming to uh, realize that uh, my dependence upon God this year and doing support of that in me and everything has been really, really a pull factor over there at Berkeley. So just... Um, so many more reasons than that, but those are the, that's the rough reasons I'm going to Berkeley. And what, uh, you know, they, they do have beaches up in Berkeley, but they're not quite the same as down there in Orange, Orange County. Are you going to miss, uh, miss the year-round surfing? <laughs> yeah, a oh, lot. Wow. That, uh, that was one of the, the issues that I had uh, in between SD and Berkeley when it came down to it, but... Um, there's plenty to do up there. I was talking to uh, uh, Aaron Casey and Isaac Howell, who grew up around me down here in Southern California, and they said it's awesome up there. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be a change, but we'll figure it out. Well, Tom, best of luck, and congratulations on the new record. Thank you very much.